All right, Illini basketball fans. Um, I watched the game, and okay, after a couple days, uh, let's go ahead and do a little quick little recap. All right. All right, this is the second time that Purdue's beat Illinois. All right? There's a chance they may, they may meet two more times. All right? Is it possible that Illinois could beat Purdue the third time or even the fourth time? Of course, it's basketball. There's always a chance. Um, but what we do know now, though, we know right now today, we know Purdue is a better team right now today. They beat Illinois two times, so as of today, we know Purdue is better. Period. Uh, Ivy, Ivy was better than any than all the players on Illinois combined. He was better than them all. He won the game for Purdue. It's just that simple. So, you know, we look we look at the stats. You know. Um, Illinois made eight threes. Purdue made nine. Illinois, you know, they made 24 shots. Purdue made 31. You know, 12, 12 versus 13 free throws made. Uh, rebounding, similar. Turnovers, identical. Assists, three more assists for Purdue. Um, but for Purdue, Jaden Ivey, period. Jaden Ivey took over the game in the second half. He was dominant. He was a star. He was the best player. He won the game for Purdue. Period. No debate. The great Trent Frazier could not stop Jaden Ivey. DeMonte Williams could not stop Jaden Ivey. No one could stop Jaden Ivey. He is clearly infinitely better than Trent Frazier Fonzo Plummer, DeMonte Williams, Jacob Granderson, and whoever else. It's obvious. All right. Illinois. All right. Granderson missed so many wide open threes. He's a terrible shooter. You can't have Jacob Granderson being being the one to take wide open threes if he can't make them. Why Brad Underwood didn't put in Luke Goody in his place, let Luke take wide open threes. That's one thing about Brad Underwood I don't understand. His hesitation to put the freshman in. I would rather see freshmen than see what I see from these seniors and super seniors. We know what Granderson is. He's a, I don't know, what is he? Um, sometimes he's a role player. Sometimes he helps you, but mostly he doesn't. We know what he is. He's not the future. Let the freshman play. Kofi foul trouble, 18 and seven. That's a lot better than what he did last time. But once again, Kofi produces his big numbers against, against inferior talent. When Kofi goes up against good talent, equal talent, or better talent, he doesn't put up the numbers he does otherwise. In the tournament, Illinois are going to play teams where Kofi is not going to be able to get 25-35. Then you're in trouble because now you're counting on the next player, Trent Frazier, to score. I say this all the time. Trent Frazier is the most overrated player in the Big Ten. And I don't understand why people think his jersey should be retired. I don't understand how people think he's the best guard. No, he's not. No, he is not. Once again, another game where Trent Frazier scores a lousy two points. I'll say it and I'll say it again. Trent Frazier offensively is inconsistent. Just like any player, there are times where he can get hot and score five, seven points in five minutes. That can't happen. But when he does score 20-something points in a game, you can go back and check for yourself. 
he'll go on 10-minute scoring droughts in that same game. Like I said, Trent Frazier, I appreciate his loyalty to the program. I appreciate that. I appreciate his effort defensively. I do. But offensively, stop it. He is not a star player. He is not a good player. Offensively, he is inconsistent at his best. He is a fourth, fifth option offensively at his best. If he is your main threat offensively, you're going to lose. It's just that simple. So Trent Frazier, his jersey does not deserve to be retired. He is not the best guard in the Big Ten or in the nation. Um, Like I said, I appreciate his loyalty. I appreciate his defensive effort. But he is not a star player. So just please stop that. What star player scores two points in a big game? Stop yourself, please. Alfonso Plummer. He scored 14 points, but I don't remember a single time he scored. Meaningless 14 points. Um, but he scored 14, which is 12 more than Trent Frazier did. Uh, DeMonte Williams. Three points. Once again, I'll say this. Why? 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 Let me, let me tell you something. DeMonte Williams and Trent Frazier, their defense is not is not like they act like some people act like DeMonte Williams and Trent Frazier are like Gary Payton level defenders. They're not. They are not John Stockton, Gary Payton level defenders. This is nonsense. When they're struggling this bad offensively, you have to put the freshman in. You have to take a chance. Yeah, the freshmen don't play as good a defense. But my gosh, let them score more than two points and three points in a game. I, I, can, I can believe they can do that. So that's one thing Brad Underwood has to do. He, he, he's got to recognize that Trent Frazier, DeMonte Williams are worthless on offense on any given night. And you have to make a move to the bench. I don't know what more Brad has to see to understand this. Cabello drops 15, but it was a bad game for Cabello. It really was. I, It was like watching diarrhea on the court. How many times did Cabello drive to the rim and throw the ball up, hoping for a miracle? And, of course, there was no miracle to be had. It was like diarrhea. Full speed to the rim and just throw the ball in the air. How many times did he do that? I, I, that's unbelievable. That's poor coaching. Good coaching gets him out of the game and tells him, you do that again, you're going to be sitting with me for the rest of the game. You cannot drive to the rim full, full speed and then just throw the ball wildly up in the air. That's not going to get it done. So Cabello needs to learn pace, and he le- he needs to learn how to finish at the rim with touch. If you're going to do it, learn how to do it. R.J. Melendez, the freshman, eight points. Why is this man not playing more, Brad? He's not scared to score. He's not a, he's not scared to attack attack the basket. Brad Underwood. Get your head out of your butt and let the freshman play more. This freshman, in 11 minutes, in 11 minutes, scored more than DeMonte and Frazier did combined and scored more than Granderson. Brad Underwood, it's time to change the way you think about things. Play the freshman sacrifice a little defense for some offense once in a once in a while you can't win big games where three of your starters are combined 12 points let me say that again you cannot win a game 
when three of your five starters combine for 12 points. It's not going to happen. That's pathetic. Three of your five in a big game. And, and, and let me say this. And out of these three, you have the great Trent Frazier, the greatest guard in the history of Illinois basketball, as some might say. Two points. All right, Benjamin. Um, please transfer. Benjamin needs to transfer to a mid-major. He's not a Big Ten player. Let's be honest. That would be better for his whole career if he went down to the mid-majors. Um, Luke Goody. What can I say? <clears throat> Tell the coach to give you more time. And when you get in the game, Luke, don't be scared to shoot. Don't be scared to score. Be like RJ. Get the ball. Be a threat to score. Don't be afraid. Coleman Hawkins. Same thing as Benjamin. Go to a mid-major. Maybe you can become the best player on a mid-major team. Maybe you can even become the conference player of the year. Who knows? But you're not a Big Ten player, so please leave. Omar Payne. It's just not clicking with Illinois. I don't think him and Brad get along too well. I don't know. But it's just not working out. It's not clicking. But we can give him another chance when um, when Kofi leaves. And we'll see. But if not, he can leave too. Um, Brandon. Wow, this kid gets no playing time. Um, I'll be... I, I would be shocked if he leaves. If Brandon just leaves, I wouldn't be shocked. Um, I'll be kind of surprised if he stays with the program. He's not getting any playing time. Brad Underwood doesn't believe in the freshman too much, and he definitely does not believe in Brandon, that's for sure. Um, my gosh, dude. You got, you got five-year seniors scoring a combined five points, but you can't put a freshman in to see what they can do. Once again, Brad Underwood, what are you doing, my man? What are you doing? Um, it's hard to win a game when you have a player with 33 minutes with two points, supposedly your star player. Um, but anyway, this is why Illinois will not win a national championship. Because at the end of the day, Trent Frazier is inconsistent offensively at the end of the day. He's not consistent, period. And Kofi, eventually, Kofi, I'm telling you, when Kofi plays against talent, he doesn't put up monster numbers. That's a fact. And, and guess what? In a tournament, he's going to go up against quality, and at the best you can hope for him is 18 and 7. That's good, though. We'll take 18 and 7. But when you have an inconsistent Trent Frazier, when you have really no one else that can step up, you need 25. You need 30. So, Corbello needs to get it together. Plummer needs to get it together. Frazier, my gosh, he needs to be consistent somehow, some way. Granderson needs to do something. Um, but, but, Brad, play the freshman. Play the freshman. Um, anyway, uh, those are my thoughts on it. I stand by my thoughts. Uh, my thoughts will not be changed by anything that anyone can tell me because I watch the games and I have seen with my own eyes that what I have said is the truth. Benjamin Coleman need to go play for mid-majors. And I will be happy and thrilled to see Jacob Trent Alfonso, DeMonte, gone from the team. I will be thrilled. I will be so happy to see them off of the team. That way, Brad will be forced. He'll have no option. He will be forced to play the freshman. He'll, he'll be forced to play sophomores and freshmen. It's going to drive Brad crazy, and I'm going to love it. But anyway, those are my thoughts. So... Honestly, 
I don't see Illinois winning the Big Ten tournament because of inconsistent offensive play. I see Illinois losing early in the NCAA tournament for the same reason. But we'll see. I hope I'm wrong. 